really excited um, to be at home for the Big Ten tournament. Um, as a coach, sometimes, you know, you have to take a step back and see what a team um, has come through. I think in the last couple of weeks, our team has had a bunch of adversities. And in the last couple of games, I've been so proud of my team on players who've had to step up in different roles and do different things in the game. And, uh, you know, we, I think we've got our footing back underneath us after some questionable uh, officiating and um, some injuries. And I'm, I'm really proud to be home here um, to get the fans out here to McClyman so they can see our team play at least one more time at home, um, hopefully more of the NCAAs. Um, but very excited um, and excited about the result on Sunday. I think, uh, you know, I challenged the players um, to bring one of their best games of the season, and I think they did and, and got the result to be able to host at home. So very excited, and uh, I think it shows also how hard our conference is. Uh, there was a tie for fourth um, place. Um, we dodged that by a point, I think. And um, so it's it, it was very, very close this year to be anywhere between um, third and eighth. Abby, go ahead. Coach, two-part question for you. You have uh, two of the top 100 freshmen in the nation and Liv and Riley this season. First of all, how, has the two, how have the two of them helped you this season? And what does their ranking say about the future of this program? I think the, the future is great. Um, I was excited to see that because those guys have put on a lot of minutes and done a lot of things for us. Um, I think one of the biggest things is that, you know, Riley maybe doesn't have all the stats, but every game you just see her getting better, more confident, doing things and being able to break people off the dribble. And it's so exciting to watch um, that evolution as it's gone on here. And she's created a lot of things that maybe don't sh doesn't show up on paper, on stats. Um, so I'm so excited about her future even just in the next game, like you, you can see that something's gonna happen for her and she's gonna create something there. So I'm excited about that development. And then Liv, you know, had to step into a role pretty quickly because of an injury to Macy Monticello um, in the summer. And the experience that she's getting and to be able to shut down defenders and do the things that she's done um, has been incredible for us and the experience that she has for us. And if you look across most of NCAA soccer right now, not a lot of freshmen are getting minutes because we have a lot of transfers and 50 years with COVID and stuff like that. And so these guys have really made a huge statement um, in the Big Ten, just you know, playing as many minutes as they have and being part of a, the number three team in the Big Ten. Jim. Paul, I have two pardon my ignorance questions for you. You mentioned injuries. What is Emma's status? And then you also mentioned the NCAA tournament. How safe do you feel about where you stand um, in terms of? Never feel safe about it. I think we, I think we need a, a few more results um, to make, so, make sure of that. Um, and Emma, unfortunately, is, an, uh, is a season-ending um, uh, injury. Um, you know, she's a bit of the heart and the soul of the team. If you know anything about um, Wisconsin programs in general, they're, a lot of them it's based on players from Wisconsin. And uh, she had been scoring a goal a game or getting a point a game, um, which was fun fantastic. So it was challenging um, for that to happen for our team. But they have responded so well. And, and players like Ashley Martinez and Riley Howard and Arissa Mart have all stepped up. And Natalie Vigian have all stepped up into the bigger roles because of it. And like I said, as a coach, you, you see that from your team. And you just realize that you know how close this unit is and how they can do things um, in that way. You mentioned uh, in your opening statement about you know being proud of the performance that you had on Sunday. How does that performance maybe, you know, help you going into the postseason? Um, I, I think it, you know one of the concerns we had kind of moving forward. We, you know, we, we had the injury and then we played Rutgers and had an unfortunate red card, which is challenging to deal with as well. Um, and came back and played a really good game against Illinois. Um, outshot them 24 to six, um, but didn't get the result. Get, didn't get the goal. Um, and so I think, I, you know, there was a concern that there was like, hmm, how are we going to do this? But you're right, in this game, they figured out how to do it. They figured out how they were going to be effective. And so I think it just, it just kind of gives them a little bit more confidence moving forward to the next couple games that they've figured a, a pattern or figure a way, a method to be able to be successful. So it's exciting to see them carry it on to the next game here. Uh, with, uh, with Big Ten tournament play here, how do you like your chances in this year's bracket? Um, one game at a time. Um, obviously, we played Penn State at Penn State and um, had an unfortunate result there. Um, but we also had some challenges. Emma got hurt there. And I think there was a little bit of emotion to that game. Um, I, I feel right now that this team has a sense about them that um, they're excited to show what they can do. 
uh, they're excited to, to, to have the battle, to be at home. You know, they were excited, uh, you know, we talked about it before the game, that, you know, if you win this game, control what you can control, you could possibly host. Um, you could also possibly be seventh. So, um, you know, they just decided that they, they were going to control the things that they could control, and they did it, and then were rewarded by hosting. So I think they start to see that, you know, maybe right now that they're peaking at the right time.